them and if you will not have a strong grip on the concept then again you have to start learning it from the basic okay so yes let's discuss splitting the middle term let me take few question who who uh, just a second question number 1 is 3x square minus x minus 4 we will learn, we will discuss how to split the middle term and if you already know okay if you already know how to split the middle term please go ahead and do it okay next one is 12x square minus 7x plus 1 Let's do this two question, then we'll be doing more. Okay, splitting the middle term. How to split the middle term? We are having a quadratic polynomial over here. First, we will compare this quadratic polynomial with the standard form that is ax square plus bx plus c. Now, what is a? What is b? What is c? Who will say? Where a is a three, b uh, b is x and c is minus two. Oh, can you please repeat? Ma'am, a uh, a is three, b yes. is minus x. Or minus, minus one. Uh, and, and c, c is, is minus four. Perfect. Okay, these are a b c. So first step is to identify a b c. Next step is to do the multiplication of A with C. When we will multiply A with C, just the number, okay, sign, we will not uh, take that seriously. Just we will multiply the number 3 and 4. And we are getting 12 over here. Okay. First step is to take out A, B, C from the given polynomial. Next step is to multiply A with C. Now, after that, we will try splitting this 12 by using two number let me write all the possibility over here but every time we will not be writing all the possibility so 12 we can say 1 into 12 is 12 1, 6 into 12 we can 2. say yeah 2 into 6 is 12 12 we can say 3 into 4 is also 12 okay now next is again 6 into 2 will be there and 12 into 1 will be there so these are the three possibility Okay, 6 into 2 or 2 into 6 is the same thing. 12 into 1 or 1 into 12 is the same thing. So these are the three possibility of getting 12 by using only two numbers. Okay, we, I'm not saying I'm not saying 2 into 2 into 3 that is 12. I, I'm saying we, we need to take only two number. Multiply together is making 12. So these are the three possibility. Now we we need to we need to this two number which we have taken. Okay, to make 12, 2, 6, 1, 12, 3, 4, whatever. These two numbers added together or maybe subtracted together must generate our middle term that is minus 1. Okay, or 1 you can say for now. Again, right. sign you can keep it aside for a while. Ma added together. Take... Now think about it. If we will be taking this 12 and 1, Ma these two added together, no, it will not give 1. Our Ma middle term is 1. We want to create one, okay? So it will not give one. If you will do the subtraction also, it will not give one. Okay, next. Yes, 2 plus we 6. The, from this basic, I am trying to explain you. Yes, 3 and 4 will work. 2 plus 6, if you will be adding, this 2 is making 8, not giving the middle term. If you will subtract, it will not give the middle term. 3 minus 4 will give you the middle term. Okay, check it. So we were having 3x square minus x minus 4 and we realized 
two factors which is three and four. Two factors which is three and four is giving us this middle term one after subtracting. Okay. So we will be writing. We can create this minus x by 3x and 4x. You can also write 4x, 3x. It doesn't matter. If you are writing 3x, 4x, okay. This 4x negative. Why? Because minus x is there and 3x positive. Or, or, or. If you are writing 4x at first and then you are writing 3x, it's the same thing, okay. At last, we'll be getting the same answer. So 4x and 3x. Since minus x we want to create, so of course the bigger number will be negative and smaller will be positive. This is how we are splitting the middle term after doing this much of steps. First we realize what is a, what is b, what is c. Then we, we did the multiplication of a with c. Whatever we got, we are breaking it into numbers to such number which added together or maybe subtracted together will give the middle term. And this is how we realize that 4 and 3 is giving the middle term. The first term as it is, I am copy pasting. And the last term as it is, I am copy pasting. Now, the first, from the first two term, we will take out common. From the next two term, we will take out common. If I will ask you what is common factor from the first two term, what you would say? Yes, what is common? From 3x square and 4x, what is the common factor? Yes. Anyone from here? 3x square and 4x means a common factor kya hai? Anyone has already Some responded? Context. Yes, only x. And we will left with 3x minus 4. And here only 1. And again, we will be left with 3x minus 4. Now our factorization, we are done. Okay, 3x minus 4 in one bracket and x plus 1 in the other bracket. Any confusion to anyone? If not, yeah. then please do the second one. This one. 12x square minus 7x plus 1. Please do it, you know. Are you doing it? I have written three. three. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Please do it.
from 3x minus 1 multiplied by 4x minus 1. Just a moment, let me write it. 3x minus Minus nine multiplied with three I don't know why the voice your voice is the it's not clear. Anyone else who has done? Are you getting the same three x minus one you said, Sazia? Yes, ma'am. Three x minus one. Multiplied by 4x minus 1. Okay. Ma'am, uh, 3x minus 1, 4x, uh, uh, 3x minus 1 multiplied by 4x minus 1. Okay, please do the next one now.
मैम टू एक्स माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एक्स प्लस फोर एंड द थर्ड वन इज थ्री एक्स प्लस वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एक्स प्लस फोर थ्री एक्स माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ एक्स प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस फोर यू से साजिया यस मैम रेस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट आर यू गेटिंग द सेम For the second one, two x minus one multiplied by x plus four. X plus four, you said, right? Yes, ma'am. Ma yes, stages are you? Yes, same. Ma'am, and the third one, I said three x plus one. And uh, have I written it correctly now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, yes, stages. Now, are you getting the same? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So yeah, uh, if all of you are uh, getting the same, then yes, splitting the middle term is clear to you. Now let me give. Ma'am, can you explain that just for more knowledge? let me give you few more question from factorization just a second if we are having minus 4 x minus 2y whole square plus 8 x minus 2y please start doing factorization this is the first question okay i am giving more A square plus two AB plus B square minus sixteen. Please do the factorization over here. Two R Y minus X plus S X minus Y. See, these are the question which are just where you have to do the factorization by using any logic. Okay, factorization means I have explained you what in which format you have to write it by using formula, maybe by using splitting the middle term, maybe by using identities. maybe by just taking the common factor it's completely depends upon the question you have to figure it out what can be done over here to do the factorization please do it main thing is in the first question yeah uh, yes tejas can you please repeat what you said ma'am can you explain the first question this Minus four x that one. Yeah, sure. I'll be explaining it. Yes, okay. anyone else who have tried? Yes, ma'am. 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 Y
Yes, ma'am. My, uh, minus four. Just a second. Ma'am, minus four plus eight multiplied by x minus two. Minus four? Plus eight x uh, multiplied by x minus two. Okay, let's do it. Uh, here, here we are having x minus. Here we are having, here we are having x minus two y square. X minus two y square means x minus two y. Multiplied with x minus 2y. Okay. And here we are having only one x minus 2y. So, of course, we can take out common. How many terms we are having? So, this is one term. And this is another term. Two terms we are having. In this two terms, what is common? x minus 2y in a bracket is a common factor. Let's take it out. Okay. So, x minus 2y. Both the boxes is having x minus 2y. We have taken it out. What else is common? 4 is also common. We can take it out. Okay. Now, in the first part, what will be remaining? 1x, one, 1, 1 of the x minus 2y. We have taken it out. 1, of course, will be remaining because it was a square. So, 1 will be remaining. Okay. Minus sign will be there. Plus, plus 2, just 2 will be there. And bracket close. Now, what can be done? Now, still we can do a little bit of simplification in the, this rectangular bracket. We can write it as, we can write it as, let's open, uh, let's take this negative sign. We can write it as minus x plus 2y plus 2. And nothing else we can do. This is our factorized form. Factorized form, if you want, you can use a smaller bracket also. If you are uh, habituated to see the factorized form in a smaller, smaller bracket, then you can use a smaller bracket. However, bracket doesn't matter. This factorization means something into something into something into something. That format we have to generate and we have generated it. After this one, we don't know what to do. Nothing can be done over here. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. Please do the next one. Remember the second one, a minus b the whole square minus 16. Yeah, is it a minus b whole
Are you able to do the second one? Ma'am, uh, is it four square minus a plus b the whole square? Yes, it will be a plus b whole square minus four square. Now, does it looks like any formula again? Yes, ma'am. Then expand it by using the same formula. Yes, so it is a plus b whole square minus four square. But we are not done. This is not the factorized form. Still, you need to have Yes. Ma'am, can we write a square? A square minus b square is equal to a minus. Yes, a square minus b square is equals to a plus b in one bracket, a minus b in another bracket. So here, this is our a and this is our b. We will be writing it a, our a plus b in one bracket and a minus b in another bracket. And now we are done with factorization because after this, we cannot do anything. Are you getting it? Yes, Okay. Please do the last one. And the third one is x minus y multiplied by x plus y multiplied by 2 plus s. Yes, Azia, can you please repeat? Ma'am, uh, x minus y multiplied by x plus y multiplied by 2 r plus s. x plus y from where you are getting Sazia, how many terms are there in this question? If I am I calling two. this question number three, then tell me how many terms are I there? Two. two terms are there. In this two term, is there any term like it, which is exactly same? No, ma'am. No, it is not same. Is it possible to make it same? No, ma'am. Yes, it is possible. Okay, we can make a minus b as a b minus a. We can make it. If you are having, if you you are having a number five, and I would tell you represent it with a negative sign. So you will say, but it is a positive number. But I will say that no, represent it with a negative number. Then you will do one arrangement and you can write it like this. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, similarly, if you will be having a minus b and I will tell you to make it b minus a, again, there is a arrangement which you can use. You can say that minus sign you can give outside and then you can write it b minus a. Think about it. This will become minus b and this will become plus a. Originally, it was plus a minus b and it will make it plus a minus b. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. So we are taking negative common. 
if suppose you are having a plus b from here i would i would tell you take negative common then you will write one minus sign and each and every sign will change this plus a will be minus a plus b will be minus b basically we are not taking negative common we, we are saying it that we are taking negative common but basically we are doing one arrangement by giving the minus sign Okay, if you will open the bracket, automatically you will be having whatever you were having. Nothing will change. Yes or no? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, so if this arrangement we know, then can we make this y minus x as a x minus y? Or maybe yes, x minus y. Kya hum, ye jo hamare paas y minus x hai, isse x minus y bana sakte hai. Ya fir, jo x minus y hai, usse y minus x create kar de. Taki wo common factor le sakke, aur fir hamara jo factorization hume karna hai, wo hum kar sakke yaan pe. To yes, yes we can do. Either you do for the y minus x, this one, or you do for x minus y, your choice. So I am doing for x minus y, okay, the next one. Why I am doing it like this? Because in between minus sign is there, no? That is okay. But in front, if minus sign, I'll write. It's then also it's okay. But I am writing it for the this x minus y. I am going to make it y minus a. Ye jo second wala x minus y hai, jo s ke saath hai. Usse y minus x bana dete hai. Minus common jo humne liya hai, wo s ke samne likhte hai. Or if you want want you can use curly bracket that we have taken negative out plus was already there and the first one is 2r y minus x getting it yes ma'am. now this plus minus sign together will be negative okay here we'll be having s y minus x and here we'll be having 2r y minus x again i will ask you the same question you are having two terms over here what is the common factor what are y, x. y minus x right yes ma'am and the remaining will be 2r minus s and hence we are done with the factorization are you getting it yes ma'am yes ma'am okay. so basically Factorization means always हमें common factor ढूंढते रहना होगा जैसे भी possible हो pair में हो या फिर कितने terms हो yes okay splitting the middle term में भी हम यही कर रहे हैं हमारे पास कितने term है three terms one two three ध्यान से देखो splitting the middle term में हम क्या कर रहे थे three x square minus x minus four हमारे पास था सिर्फ three terms था और the instruction was to factorize it अब थ्री टर्म्स में से हम किसे पेयर में ले कि कैसे ले कैसे फैक्टराइज करें सारे में से कुछ कॉमन ले ले वो भी नहीं हो पा रहा है तो क्या करें तो हमने इसे ब्रेक कर दिया मिडिल टर्म को ब्रेक करके ये जो हमारे पास थ्री टर्म्स था ना इसे फोर टर्म्स हमने बना लिया और फिर पेयर पेयर में हमारे पास हो गए टर्म्स एंड देन हमने फैक्टराइज कर लिया कॉमन फैक्टर ले इसे ही फैक्टराइजेशन बोलते हैं जब भी एल्जेब्रिक yes. एक्सप्रेशन दिया हो और बोले कि फैक्टराइज करो मतलब मतलब कि वी हैव टू राइट द एक्सप्रेशन समथिंग मल्टीप्लाइड विद अनदर थिंग मल्टीप्लाइड विद अनदर ब्रैकेट मे बी ओके प्लीज डू द लास्ट वन लास्ट वन इज दिस क्वेश्चन यस तेजस यू आर सेइंग समथिंग से Ma'am, I have doubt in uh, chapter two exercise two point two fifteen uh, fifteen and sixteen question. Fifteen and sixteen. Okay, yes. uh, let me explain that only yeah. because uh, uh, we are already having less time. Let me open it there just. Yes, Is it this one, Tejas? Yes, ma'am. Let's split the middle term.
first we will multiply a with c that is 25 into 12 now we will not do the multiplication we will not do the multiplication because first we will do the multiplication of this big big number and then we will think about doing the factorization in between two such number so better now only we will be thinking about it that fa okay five, 25 means 5 into 5 12 means 12 means 4 into 3 which can also be written as 2 into 2 into 3 kya sabse pehle hum kya karte hain ac ko multiply karte aur fir aisa do number dhoondne ki koshish karte jo multiply ho ke ac create kare aur add ya subtract ho ke hamara middle term bana बट यहाँ पे जब हमारा ए सी इतना लाइक ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेल्व ह्यूज द बिग लार्जर नंबर है तो हम मल्टीप्लाई नहीं करेंगे हम क्या करेंगे ए सी को और भी छोटे 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 नंबर्स में फैक्टराइज कर देंगे ठीक है और वहां से फैक्टराइज करने के बाद हम दो ग्रुप बनाने की कोशिश करेंगे ओके okay? जो ऐसा जो दो दो ग्रुप हम क्रिएट करेंगे ऐसे दो नंबर्स हम क्रिएट करने की कोशिश करेंगे जो ऐड या सब होके हमारा मिडिल टर्म दे दे तो बेसिकली हम वही प्रोसेस कर रहे हैं लेकिन यहाँ पहले मल्टीप्लाई नहीं कर रहे हम आ रहा है समझ में तो हमारे पास फाइव है लेट्स डू इट के फाइव है फाइव है ट्वेंटी फाइव है एंड हेयर टू इंटू टू इंटू थ्री है सो इफ अगर एक फाइव एक टू के साथ ले ले तो टेन हो जाता है और दूसरा फाइव थ्री इंटू सिक्स थर्टी के साथ ले ले तो ये हो जाता है नहीं नो इट्स नॉट वर्किंग लेट्स थिंक अबाउट अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज इफ वी विल बी टेकिंग दिस फाइव विथ ट्वेंटी ओके फाइव विथ दिस टू एंड टू दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी एंड दिस फाइव विथ दिस मैम यू वर टेकिंग राइट मैम it is working right mam you can take that one also before you were taking which one before you were taking some numbers right that was correct can you please repeat the just mam before you took some numbers right that one was correct that one was also correct this one yes, is sir. also working okay yes, 20 and 15 is working. तो हमने क्या किया ए सी को जब हम मल्टीप्लाई करने जा रहे थे तो ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू ट्वेल्व जो मल्टीप्लाई होके और बिग नंबर मिल जाता अब उस बड़े से नंबर को हमें फैक्टराइज करने के लिए प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन का हेल्प तो लेना ही पड़ता तो हमने क्या सोचा चलो मल्टीप्लाई नहीं करते और यहाँ से ही दो ऐसा नंबर क्रिएट करने की कोशिश बस करते जो एड या सब ट्रैक्ट होके थर्टी फाइव मिडिल टर्म क्रिएट कर अब ऐसे कैसे दो नंबर क्रिएट करेंगे तो जो हमारे पास ए सी था ओके okay, उसे और भी छोटे छोटे नंबर्स में हमने ब्रेक किया और यहाँ से दो ग्रुप बनाने की हमने कोशिश की तो ये जो दोनों जो सर्कल नंबर्स हैं इन्हें हमने साथ में रखा और जो मैंने नीचे डॉट डॉट अंडरलाइन किया है उन्हें साथ में मैंने रखा तो हमें ट्वेंटी एंड फिफ्टीन मिला ये दोनों एड होके मिडिल टर्म क्रिएट कर रहे आ रहे समझ में कि जब भी नंबर्स होंगे कैसे डील करना है इफ स्टिल यू आर गेटिंग कंफ्यूज मल्टीप्लाई करके देख लो ट्वेल्व अगर हम ए सी को मल्टीप्लाई कर लिए होते तो हमारे पास थ्री हंड्रेड होता और उसे कुछ ऐसे हम ब्रेक कर सकते हैं हाँ ना यस सर ओके सो इधर यू डू लाइक दिस और अगर मल्टीप्लाई करके अच्छे से समझ में आ रहा है तो गो एड एंड डू द मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड देन स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट स्प्लिटिंग सो थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एंड फिफ्टीन वी आर गेटिंग वी कैन राइट इट ट्वेंटी ए वी कैन राइट इट फिफ्टीन ए बट हमारे पास माइनस थर्टी फाइव है तो दोनों ही नेगेटिव होगा राइट यस और अब हम कर पाएंगे फैक्टराइजेशन ओके ट्वेंटी प्लस
yeah we will be taking the common factor i thought you will be able to do from here we can take the common factor 5a from here we'll be having uh, 5a minus 4 over here from the other two terms we will be taking common factor as a can you tell me they just what yes sir 15a and 12 what can be taken out as a common factor tejas um can take minus 15a and 12 mein se kya common factor le sakte hai um, minus 1 from this two yeah uh, yes yeah Three. Uh, yes, when we can take three uh, minus five plus a uh, plus four. But we need to make both the bracket exactly same. When we can take minus five a, uh, three plus. Three will be taken, of course, but plus three or minus three? Minus three. Minus three will be taking, then only it will be plus five a minus four. And our factor will be yes. five a minus three in one bracket, five a minus four in another bracket. This this one is length and breadth stages. Yes. Okay. The bigger one is the length and the smaller one is the breadth. Okay. ओके फाइव ए में से जो स्मॉलर नंबर अगर सब्ट्रैक्ट करेंगे तो ये वैल्यू लार्जर होगा तो ये लेंथ होगा एंड ये ब्रेथ होगा सोच के देखो अगर हंड्रेड में से अगर एक कोई स्मॉलर नंबर सब्ट्रैक्ट करें और सेम हंड्रेड में से अगर बिग नंबर सब्ट्रैक्ट करें तो रिजल्ट किसका ज्यादा होगा जो स्मॉलर नंबर हमने सब्ट्रैक्ट किया उसका राइट यस मैम Okay, so accordingly we will be choosing the length and breadth. Last one, is it crystal clear, Tejas? Yes, ma'am. Thirty-five. Why is square is there? Twelve is there. I'm helping you with this splitting the middle term. Thirty-five and twelve. Ko multiply karna tha. Okay, let's do the multiplication. Twelve five times sixty-six. Uh, zero carries six. Twelve three times. 36, 6, 6, 12, 420 we are getting. Now this 420 we need to split by using two such number which added together or maybe subtracted together will make 13. Now you can create it here or then you can create it here. 7 into 5, 35 and 12 means 2 into 2, 4, 3 times 12. Now you can make it here. Okay? So if you make it here, you can make it here. Okay? So if you make it here, तो अगर यहां से ग्रुप बनाने की कोशिश करेंगे ऐसे टू नंबर क्रिएट करने की जो ऐड या सब्ट्रैक्ट होके हमारा मिडिल टर्म जो कि थर्टीन है वो वो क्रिएट कर दे तो लेट्स सी थिंक अबाउट इट सेवन थ्री टाइम्स ट्वेंटी वन एंड फाइव फोर टाइम्स ट्वेंटी नो मैम वी कैन टेक सेवन एंड दिस टू वी कैन टेक सेवन एंड रेस्ट ऑफ ऑल टू Seven and seven three times seven four times twenty eight. Okay, twenty eight and fifteen. Yeah, great. We are getting seven and four. We can take together. See, great. Thank you for helping me. Seven and four we can take together, and remaining five and three we can take together. It is making a number yes. twenty eight and fifteen. You do the subtraction, you will be getting the middle term. Yes, is it clear yes, they just you are yes, only telling me then i am explaining you or you are explaining me um, both of them okay so if you know splitting how to split it you will be able to do it right yes, 35y is square and here 28y and 15y but we want to create plus plus 13 so can you tell me they just कौन सा नेगेटिव होगा कौन सा पॉजिटिव होगा ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी एट एंड फिफ्टीन में थर्टी फाइव पॉजिटिव होगा हाँ ओके नाउ वी विल टेक आउट कॉमन फैक्टर फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स में से क्या कॉमन फैक्टर होगा तेजस वाई यस मैम वाई जस्ट वाई 
हमें बस एक ऐसा नंबर ढूंढना है टीचर्स जो दोनों ही नंबर को डिवाइड कर दे अगर मैं लिख दू यहाँ पे थर्टी फाइव बाई ट्वेंटी एट यू विल बी एबल टू से दैट सेवन कैन डिवाइड थर्टी फाइव एज वेल सेवन कैन डिवाइड ट्वेंटी एट एज वेल राइट द बिगेस्ट नंबर ओके तो सेवन so from yeah, here also we can do the same thing seven can divide both seven is is the largest number which can divide both seven why yes. we can take common and here seven five times seven four times yes, now can minus. you tell me they just from next two term what can be taken yeah. out common factor ma'am minus 3 by yes why also they just uh, no ma'am no need to take by सो वी आर डन फाइव बाई प्लस फोर सेवन बाई माइनस थ्री ओके दीज आर देंथ एंड ब्रेथ फाइव बाई प्लस फोर सेवन बाई माइनस थ्री इज इट क्लियर तेजस यस ओके सो या दिस इज हाउ विल बी डूइंग इट एनी कंफ्यूजन Yes, rest of the student, are you getting it? It was just letting the middle term based question. Are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Now I got it. Okay, it requires practice stages. I will send. Yeah, sure, ma'am. If you want me to send a lot of question for factorization, I will send it to my team and they will send it to you. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will be sending. Uh, then yeah, I am keeping this much over here. Okay. okay? And yes, thank you, everyone. Do you want to ask anything else? Anyone no. else no. having any doubt? No, I should stay. No. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm keeping it this much. Thank you, oh. everyone. Oh. Thank you. Okay. I'm sure I stay or leave because I have class. Ah, yeah, yeah. You are having extra class with me. I'll check your ma'am work. Yes, Tejas. Is there any slot? Uh, can we have class for Sunday? Like a uh, uh, Sunday, not a uh, evening in morning. Morning Sunday. Uh, sorry, Tejas. Uh, I'm not available in morning. However, if you need extra class, I am informing my team. Okay. Ma okay because tomorrow i have a holiday that's why tomorrow holiday yes ma'am okay uh, then i am informing my team that if possible uh, maybe with another faculty anyone is available then they can arrange one class for you okay 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 i am informed thank you ma'am bye yeah thank you take care bye yes sazia uh, I need to check your worksheet first. Just let me check.
just a moment no sazia i'm i'm searching your paper and still i have not got yeah i got it okay you uh, coordinate geometry you have got 20 marks uh, today was class based on just a moment let me check okay lines and angles and linear equation in two variable this two things we have to discuss today linear equation in two variable i can see your question number 3 question number 33 also okay 33 3 and 8 okay can you see the screen sazia yes ma'am let me write the question over here so one of the question was age of x exceed age of y by 7 year okay age of x exceed age of y by 7 year x is more than y exceed whenever you will be having no age of x exceed age of y by 7 year x exceed y by 7 years that means exceed you just cross and write more than that, that means x is more than y x is more than y by 7 year and which is the correct option it will be we can also write it as a x minus y minus 7 right sazia yes okay so this was one of the question 8 number 8 was the another question the solution of the equation can you tell me sazia the solution of this equation x minus 2y just a second let me check x minus 2y is equal to 4 options are 2,0 0,2 option c 4,011 can you tell me sazia you, you can see my screen right you guys please tell me which one is the correct option four comma zero four comma zero let me check when x is four then y is zero yeah so where is the confusion okay question number thirty three is the one more question I wanted to discuss thirty three justification was re required if is x equals to three y is equals to one is the solution of the linear equation yeah i can see you have checked justification means you have to say that it doesn't satisfy the equation hence it doesn't lie on the equation it doesn't uh, it, it is not one of the solution of the given equation or maybe it satisfies the equation hence it is the solution this much statement is required along with the checking part getting it sazia yes ma'am okay so this one is done let me check the other one lines and angles also our team has informed me yeah lines and angles let me check that now
20 you have a score where you have done mistake number 12 then okay number 21 you keep on noting no sazia 12 21 because i am just switching the tab checking the numbers 12 21 yes sir. that's it okay now let me open the question paper just a second. Yeah. Number 12 first, right? Yes. Number 12 was in the given figure, the value of X is... Okay, let me draw the given figure. The figure looks like this and this much is 48, this much is Y, this much is 48, this much is Y and this much is X, okay? And this angle is 48 degree. This much is 90 degree. And what else? Yeah. And we are supposed to find X over here. We are supposed to find X over here. Let's see. Can you see the screen, Sazia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. If we have to find X over here, then what can be done? This is 90. Okay. So... If we'll be taking just this line and this line, we know only this much is 90. So we can say this much will also be 90. Right, Sazia? Yes, ma'am. So we can say this much is 90. Then easily we will be able to find, okay, this total is 90. Okay, X. Still, we have to say what is X. If we'll be taking any other line, let me check. If we'll be focusing on this line and this line. And if we will forget about the rest of the line, then yeah, whatever is this, the same is X. Can you see? Yes, ma'am. So that is 90 minus 48 and the same is X, right, Sazia? 48 degrees. 42 degrees, sorry. Got it? Any confusion? No. And the next was number 21 or 2? Number 21. If an angle 16 degree more than its complement, then find its measure. If an angle... An angle we are having, maybe X. Okay. An angle is 16 degree more, 16 degree more than its complement. Suppose Y is, uh, is the complement. Okay. Or maybe if X is the angle, if X is the angle, angle is X, then the complement is 90 minus X. Right, Sazia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Complement means 90 minus X. Both added together must generate must generate 90. And you can see when we will add X with 90 minus X, the result is just 90. That's how we take the complement. 
So if an angle is 16 degree more, this one is 16 degree more. That means when we will do the subtraction between these two, the answer will be 16 degree. Right, Sazia? Yes, ma'am. Let's do the subtraction. X minus 90 plus X is equals to 16. 2x minus 90 is equals to 16. Can you find x from here, Sazia? 